And Fox 5 Sports' Kelly Price is live in Flowery Branch this morning with more on the team's strong energy and competitiveness. Now, you two aren't getting chippy today, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, only good vibes out here today. No, no drama today so far. The players aren't even out actually back here behind us. But we actually have a very exciting announcement here from training camp. I'm joined here by Tori McElhaney of AtlantaFalcons.com, who is going to be joining our Falcons on Fox 5 family as my co-host yeah. on Rise Up Tonight, Fridays at midnight. And we are so excited to have you with us, Tori. I'm so excited. Truth be told, I didn't think this was something that I was ever going to do. <laughs> but then you told me that I'm doing it. So here. <laughs> I am. So we're we're very very excited for what this means for the two of us and also I think for women in sports. I think the most exciting thing that I, you know, I'm excited to see for us is we're going to be the only 30-minute sports show in the Atlanta market that's completely anchored by yeah. two women. I'm super proud of that fact. I know that's something important to you too. So, uh, but we'll jump right into it. You know, what to expect this year from Rise Up tonight. It's going to be a fun show. Everyone who watched the show the last 2 years, it's going to be a very similar vibe. Um, but we're going to have something new this year. We're going to have a hot take segment, Can't which wait. is <laughs> Something that Arthur Smith talks about a lot. If you follow anything that yep. Arthur Smith talks about, it takes about three minutes into the press conference before he drops a narrative or a hot take reference. So that's a new segment we're going to be bringing to Rise Up tonight. So today, I want to kick off our hot takes. What is your hot take of training camp so far? So right now, my hot take, and it may not be a real hot take because I think if you <laughs> watch this team at all, you would say probably the same thing. This secondary is a major strength of this team. I would honestly say the strongest part of this team. Team. I think when you look at this group, you look at AJ Terrell, you look at Casey Hayward, these are two guys who I think are going to be ever changing this defense. And then you look at this, uh, the, the safety group. You have Jalen Hawkins, you have Richie Grant, who are two young guys, but they are very, very important to where this position group is going, not only now, but in the future too. Uh, cornerbacks, obviously a big part of what the Falcons are going to be doing, that whole secondary. But the quarterbacks is also a big yes. battle that everyone is really focusing on here in training camp. But you can't get to the quarterback battle unless you talk about that offensive line that's going to be out in front of them this fall. That's another one you're watching, I'm sure. 100%. It, it's funny because we were talking to Arthur Smith yesterday and someone asked him, like, what, what's about what's, what's up with this offensive line competition? <laughs> and he said, well, Jake Matthews and Chris Lindstrom are really separating themselves. And it's like, okay, those are the only two. Thank you, we, Captain Obvious. Thank you. Yes, we really. he kind of smiled at the end, which was like, I think he was trying to hold it back, but he didn't. Uh, but really and truly, you have a center competition between Drew Dahlman and Matt Hennessy, and we have really seen them switch back and forth with the first team reps every single day of camp. And then you have Elijah Wilkinson and Jalen Mayfield who are kind of going at it at left guard. I mean, these are positions that are very much open mm -hmm. for competition. Very wide open. And that's what makes a lot of these practices so competitive. You heard Terry Fontenot talking about it earlier as well. Competition, a big part of where this team is at right now because of so many wide open spots that you mentioned. Um, another kind of wide open group might be this edge group. They're really young. No one's really set themselves apart quite yet. What have you seen so far from the edge rushers? I think youth. You, you talk about them being young. Youth is unreal at this position group. It's a position group that they really truly did rebuild from the ground up. You have Lorenzo Carter in there, but then you have Ade Ogundeji and Arnold Ebiketti and D'Angelo Malone. And these are all guys who are so young and they're really getting their first taste of being a professional athlete. And I think that is real. This is a an overhaul mm -hmm. of the edge rusher position, the outside linebackers group. This is not something that's going to change overnight, but this is a process that we're going to be able to watch for the next two or three years to come. Yeah, and that's something for all Falcons fans to keep in mind. This is a process, yes. right? We're going. They're going to get there eventually, but right now is the start here in training camp. But we are so excited to join, have Tori join us mm -hmm. on our Falcons on Fox 5 family, my new co-host on Rise Up Tonight, Fridays at midnight, guys. We're excited to have her join us.